from CAD CAM tutorial. Now we are going to make six part of our project wrench. This this is the our fifth part which is we created in our last tutorial. So let's continue this tutorial. Click front plane, click the sketch, click normal. Again click normal. Now this part we want choose offset. Select this line. Keep 2.5 mm. Make reverse. Click OK. Now choose line and continue this line. Exit. Again choose line and continue this line. Choose line. Exit it. Make sure both the lines go linear. Okay. Now select this line, shift this line, this line, and this one curve. Click convert entities. Now it is converted. Choose line and draw one line from the origin point center point. Exit from the line. Choose this line, shift, select center point, click midpoint. Okay. Okay, it is midpoint. Choose stream entities. Now we will cut outside portion. Yes. Okay. Now it is okay. Go to feature, click extruded cut. Choose mid plane. Keep five mm. We want to cut in between only 5 mm so in center we will cut 5 mm click ok see we cut in center 5 mm now click front plane sketch click normal again normal Okay, again we want to use this, this plane, click line, now start to draw a structure from here, okay, 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 okay. Now exit. Now assign dimension. Keep this length 7.5 mm. Keep the angle between this 8 degree. Keep the length of this line 10 mm. The same as here. Keep the length of this line. 5.35 mm assign angle between this 130 degree okay choose the length of this line 6 mm and this line 3 mm now assign the relation shift this line make tangent okay now choose a smart dimension. Now choose this line and this vertical line. Assign angle 37 degree. Okay. This is better. 
Oh. This is axis. So assign from this point to this point to choose axis. Keep twelve mm. Now the everything is designed click ok now see here it is showing fully defined ok now go to here choose three arc point select this point to this point ok exit from the arc go to smart dimension <coughs> keep radius 30 mm ok now go to feature choose extruded boss select mid plane keep 5 mm ok now our extra part is created here this is your extra part which we want to create now choose fillet select 2.5 mm select this side the same as here another side click ok now again choose fillet keep 10 mm select this line inside line select this line click ok now our fillet is almost created now choose this plane click sketch click normal now choose line and draw one angle here Now exit from the angle, choose a smart dimension, assign the angle 115 degree, the center angle 30 degree, distance from one end to one end, keep 0.5 mm. and the distance from here to here keep 1 mm ok click go to feature and click extruded cut now we want to cut throughout choose throughout ok now go to linear pattern choose axis Keep distance 2.25 mm reverse direction four numbers ok now our thread now go to fillet choose 4 mm select this one click ok now again choose fillet select 1 mm and select this corner click ok now select front plane sketch click normal again click normal now this section we want now select this line hold shift key and select this all the lines which we want to convert entities but make sure you press shift key Uh, here some small portion balance ok 
all is uh, selected now click convert entities see the everything is converted now choose a li line and draw one line here from here to here sketch from the line exit from the line choose a smart dimension and assign the length keep 6 enough ok now choose 3 point arc draw one arc from this point to this point go to smart dimension assign radius keep 17 mm ok now go to feature click extruded boss choose mid plane keep 8 mm width see click ok now it is created now choose fillet keep radius 20 mm go to bottom choose here here the same as back side all corners ok now again choose fillet select 3 mm go to the bottom of our job select bottom click ok now again go to fillet choose 1 mm choose front side and the same as back side click ok now our one part is created now we want to do select this plane click a sketch select normal ok now go to sketch and choose straight slot and draw one slot here one oblong ok exit from this now choose a smart dimension assign radius 4 mm 4 mm ok now choose this radius shift this radius make centric ok now there is axis shift this axis this point click make centric see click ok now go to feature select extruded cut and cut 2 mm inside see click ok now see it is cut 2 mm go to back side choose plane click sketch click normal the same procedure we will repeat here choose straight slot and this time we will draw here now assign choose smart dimension assign radius keep same 4 mm ok now select this half circle press shift this circle make concentric choose the smart dimension select this length keep 15 mm ok now go to feature and select extruded cut keep same 2 mm ok now see it is extruded now our second part 
the main body second jaw is created please subscribe our channel for more videos we are doing many projects in solidworks this is also a ongoing projects wrench please don't forget to subscribe and hit this video thanks for watching